welcome to Heathcote Road. I'm Karina Blasco here with another knitting tutorial on knitting continental style and in this uh, little video we're going to do how to knit continental style. Now first off we have to have a refresher on how to tension the yarn when you're working continental style. My way is a little bit unique as some of you know um, and this is very, very effective. So let's just get started here. So when you're going to wrap your yarn uh, for the tension in the left hand, first off, you want to not start you know, way far away. You want to start fairly close to your uh, work. So your yarn is coming from the back. You're going to lay your working yarn over your little finger, come up between the index finger and the middle finger, and then you're just going to wrap it very gently around your hand around your index finger and then turn your hand gently and take the overhand grip of your needle with the previously worked stitches on it. So your empty needle is in the right hand, your already worked uh, stitches are on the left. So now just to look at how the yarn is placed for tensioning. From the ball it comes up over the baby finger and then comes over that way and around and clasp. So there we go, nice and simple. Now, if you need more tension, you can add an extra loop over your index finger. And some people like to do, if you need a lot of extra tension, you can put an extra loop around your baby finger. I don't do that very often, but sometimes I do. But generally, over the little finger, up between the index and the middle finger, making sure that your yarn is going clockwise. That's the most important thing, making sure that this working yarn is coming up and going around over the back of the index finger and down to your work. So this is, you wanna keep a nice bit of work, uh, yarn here so that you can have work to play with. You don't want your hand all scrunched up down here because you can't do anything there. So when you wrap your yarn, and then when you're holding your needle, what, what's happening here is your holding your uh, left needle with your ring finger, your baby finger, and your thumb are essentially gently holding your needle. Your middle finger of the left hand is just going to gently hold the first stitch or whichever stitch you're going to be working on. It just keeps it in place so it doesn't you know, flop around. Okay, so there's your tensioning in the left hand up between the middle finger, sorry, the baby finger and your ring finger over the ring and middle finger coming up and wrapping around once or twice around your index finger clockwise so the yarn comes down. Okay, now let's knit. Your right hand, you're also going to have an overhand grip here both uh, with both hands, so overhand grip on your right needle as well. So insert your needle into the first stitch as if to knit just like you would normally and then you can, there's a two-part motion here. You can think of this as taking your right needle and scooping that working yarn. And then as your left hand rotates slightly backwards, you can see how that tension is pulling that yarn, the working yarn here, down close to the stitch you're going to work. Now you're going to take gently with your right hand, you're going to pull that needle back. And what you can do here is you can just gently with your thumb, just grab that new stitch that you've just made and then pop the stitch off the needle. Now again, we're going to do that once more. So insert your needle as if to knit. You can scoop that working yarn there and a slight rotation of the left hand to bring the stitch down closer to the needle. Draw your right needle back and then you can bring it up towards the front and slide the stitch off this needle. So again, insert oops, as if to knit. And then this is the other part when you're working the other, if you want to think of it more as rotating the left hand to bring that, wrap that yarn around your needle, you can do that too. And then as your left hand goes back, the stitch that's going to be formed naturally comes down to the bottom. You can see the stitch here, the yarn is here. You can just sort of grab that with your thumb, draw the needle back, bring it to the front and draw off. Now to show you what this looks like at speed, it's a very nice fluid motion, so you can get an idea of oops, what this should look like. There we go. That's kind of weird. I'm actually watching the video screens. I'm doing this, not on my hands, so it's a little bit 
awkward for me. But this is the motion that you get. So very small fluid motions as you go across. And there is a row of knit stitches. Now we'll turn the work over and we'll actually do some purls today too. So I brought the yarn to the back because I'm going to knit my first stitch. I like to do a salvage row of stitches on pieces that I'm working on, especially if I'm doing garments or anything that's gonna be sewn together. It also just helps your swatch to lay nice and flat. So first stitch is going to be a knit. So we're gonna insert the needle as if to knit, wrap that yarn over the needle, draw it through and take it off. Now to do a purl stitch, you're going to bring the yarn forward to the front of the needle and it's very easy, it's a small little motion. Bring that to the front, and now we'll insert our right needle into the first stitch that we're gonna work. Again, we're gently holding that first stitch with the middle finger of the left hand. And we're gonna insert our right needle into the front of that stitch, because we're doing a purl. There's your yarn sitting in the front waiting to be worked. Now, again, it's a little bit of a two-part, so think of the action with the right hand is a little scoop around to grab that yarn. And then as the left hand is going back just slightly, here's the yarn that's gonna be creating the new stitch. So again, you can just gently hold it with the thumb and then just draw the needle back, push it through towards the back and then drop, take the stitch off the needle. We'll do that again. Yarn is in the front, insert the right needle as if to purl, so into the front of the stitch. A little bit of a wrap here with the left hand, a little bit of a grabbing with the right hand. Then you can just gently hold that yarn there with your thumb, push the needle through to the back and take the stitch off. That's your newly created purl. So again, in, round, draw and back. There we go. Front, in, round, draw and back. It's a very nice, simple, fluid motion. And what happens here, you'll notice when you're working a lot of this, is that the left hand's motion is just a lot of this, which is a very nice, easy, ergonomically friendly uh, motion for the hand. It's like the queen's wave, you know, she doesn't want to extend too much energy there. So again, we've dropped our yarn, so we're going to rewrap it. So over the little finger, up between the index and the middle finger, and then rotating clockwise. And then we're going to do one more because this is a fairly slippery yarn. This is a cotton nylon blend, which um, is not generally my favorite, but this uh, chain construction actually uh, is much more comfortable than a plain cotton, a pure cotton, and I thought it would be nice and visible here. So we'll continue with the pearls. Yarn is in the front. Insert the needle into the front of the stitch as if to purl. I'm going to do a little motion to wrap that yarn around the needle. Again, helping with the thumb just very gently. There's not a lot of work here. The thumb's not working hard, so if you have issues with your thumbs, it's, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. It's just a little bit of a motion. So in, wrap, through, off. In, wrap, through, off. And then it becomes nice and fluid. And there we go. And the last stitch I'm going to knit, so insert the needle to knit. Wrap the yarn over, draw the new stitch through, and take it off the needle. And there we go. There is your continental knits and continental pearls. We'll see you again. Happy knitting. Sky.